Yo, let's learn how to use MCP servers along with LLMs to build basically anything you want in 5 minutes. Well, what are MCPs? Lots of terminologies, but in simple terms, just fancy APIs you can use to make LLMs incredibly powerful. First of all, download cursor. Links below. Click download. Give it permissions. Then install UV. Copy in the command. Go to your terminal. Paste it in. Wait for a few seconds. Great. Now, adding the MCP servers. First of all, create a new directory or project. We're going to use Web Analyzer Demo. Now, drag your project into cursor. And in here, create a new directory called dot .cursor. And inside here, create a file called mcp.json. Here, paste in the text below. Now, we've added two MCP servers. The first one is called one MCP server. We gave it a name called MCP server discovery. And the second one is just a helper MCP that gives the first one sufficient permissions. This MCP servers help you find and configure MCP servers automatically. So eventually, it is going to automatically expand these files with all the other MCP servers. Now we just have to enable the MCP servers. If something pops up over here, click the enable button. If nothing pops up, go to the command palette, which is command shift P on Mac, control shift P on Windows, type in open MCP settings. And then over here, toggle these two on. If it's green, that's fantastic. If it's yellow or red, comment below and let's try it. Fantastic. Now we're going to show a demo of how to make the LLM an expertise in web analysis. We do so by adding more MCP servers, but this time the LLM automates this process for us instead of we doing it ourselves. I'll paste the prompt over to save time. Again, just telling it to do web analysis and then more specifically, I wanted to analyze the tech stack and also scrape data from it. Let's press enter. I'm using GPT-5, so it takes a bit longer to think. Um, if you're using the default cursor, it's going to be much faster. Now, the loop has stopped and we've executed all the tools. Let's go back and see what actually happened. At the beginning, we called a planning tool. This just gives back a plan for LLM to execute. The LLM carries out this plan by first calling a bunch of search tools. Each search tool searches for a specific MCP server functionality and gets back a list of MCPs, each with their name, description, and URLs. After a bunch of searches, which GPT-5 really likes to do, we then determine the MCP config file path. In our case, it's the cursor mcp.json. Here now, the LLM has access to a bunch, a bunch of MCP servers. It then decides only a few to use and gets their detailed setup instructions by looking at their README. After that, it starts executing those setup commands. After this is completed, we have a bunch of MCP servers set up and running. The last step is to add them. We do so by modifying our MCP config file. Now going back to our config file, we see those added MCP servers. The last thing to do is that for some of those servers, we require an API key. The LLM instruct us of where to get the API keys. Go ahead and sign up and get an API key. Copy the value from there and replace the environment variable over here. I've added my API keys and now I'm going to go ahead and enable these three servers. I'm also going to disable file system just because we have too many tools right now. Now, go ahead and start a new conversation. We're going to ask it to analyze a website for us. Here, we're just going to use buildwith.com, for example. Again, GPT-5 takes a long time to think. I'm skipping the tool execution just to save time, but let's look at the results. We can see that it uses Amazon for hosting. We can see the backend, frontend, payment solutions, security solutions, and a bunch of other stuff, like the URLs present on the website. At this point, you can play around with the website or with the MCP servers as much as you like. For example, 
you want to get all the company names on the website, you can just simply type your request in natural language and then it gives back a list of companies on the website. This is going to be the end of this demo video. There's no fancy edits. Um, again, since you're using LLMs, you're going to get different results every time you run it. And if you use different LLMs, that's going to be even more different. Um, but the overall pipeline and the end result should remain the same. Like, subscribe, comment, anything you have in mind. See you in the next video.